and we will starting with this problem. Okay, the, this problem that is there. The, this this problem is the assignment. Okay, if you see that the assignment that I uh, given to you actually uh, uh, for the first time, I uh, would like you to just only to find out the books. I already include the sort of this problem already. It's come from the text of Hebrew uh, 14 edition. Okay, uh, uh, chapter 12 and example 12.5. So for, for anyone that's uh find out the textbook, uh, you can you can find the solution by yourself. But actually, uh, uh, uh the, the the main idea is just uh, I would like you to try to do it by yourself first, and after that you may check your solution again from the textbook. That is the uh, the idea. That's uh, for the self learning. Okay, so, but uh, I found out when I checked the assignment, I still found out uh, a lot of students uh, have some uh, misunderstanding about uh, this step and this statement. Okay, so then uh, why for that case, uh, for this problem, actually, we would like to find the, this time, okay, this time, that is actually it is a scalar quantity. Okay, this ten. That is a total this statement, total, total this ten from the starting point to the final point. Okay. And we also would like to find the average velocity. Okay, that is a vector quantity, and also the average speed, that is the scalar quantity. Okay. That it's actually the definition of average velocity and average speed is uh, have a little bit difference. Okay, so that's why I, I would like you to understand the the different. I would like you to know the difference between this term. Okay, so that's why I, I think this 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 assignment this problem is a good example to let us know that. Okay, so let let's we take a look the solution. Okay, so for this case, we already know that uh, the velocity function, we know the velocity function already, right? Uh, the, the problem give us the velocity function that is uh, is equal to this. Okay, and we would like to find uh, this time, okay? Uh, travel in 3.5 seconds, okay? So according to this, we know the relationship between this time, the S by dt equal to V, right? So according to that, we can find out the S equal to V dt, okay? After we substitute the velocity function into this equation, into this relationship, and we integrate both sides. Okay, so for the mathematical term, I recommend you to uh, write the correct mathematical term. Do not omit uh, anything. So for many students, uh, after you know this, you check the integration, ds like this, and many students do like this, and integration of 3t squared minus 6t and leave it like this, that is uh, actually it is not correct because the mathematical term is not complete, okay? You have to be dt also. If you do not have dt, so then it may make you confused. That's the limit of integrations of, uh, of this term is about one, okay? And you will see that from the limit of obligation for this, for this dt. So then it's come from zero to t for any time t. And also on the left hand side, actually it is not zero to t. This is the s, so then it should be s. That is actually it is s at time t equal to zero. That's now for this case it is zero. Okay, and to s at time equal to t. That is actually it's maybe uh, any value of s. Okay, so then the limit of indication for the mathematical term is a. Uh, uh, you have to concern about that also. So for, for this case, after we integrate this term, we obtain S like this. This is the uh, this time, 
okay descend and at any time t okay so for this case we uh can we can uh, determine the the distance at the distance at any time okay so actually for for the first first time we may don't know uh what happened to this equation we may substitute time equal to 3.5 uh second and after that if we substitute t equal to 3.5 second we obtain this term first okay and uh some student is maybe found may may think that this is just the final solution and use this final solution to divide it by delta t that is like this term you will get the array velocity because this is the final position that is measured from the starting point that is point o okay so then this means that this is the displacement okay along the uh the displacement is defined by the changing in position from the starting point to the final point okay so then this this statement this actually this is the displacement that is s equal to 6.125 okay this is from the starting point to the final one okay but it is not the total distance okay it's just only the displacement that is the difference in position between two points okay but if we uh if we plot this graph okay the graph between v and t okay we have this curve but uh for the case that if we do not do like this we may have to uh know that uh for the final one we may have to recheck for any time also that's we may set back for example we may set up at time equal to two seconds for this case when we substitute time equal to two we get s t uh equal to two is become minus four meter so that's it means that the particle is moving to the left hand side first and after that is uh change direction from the left hand side to the right hand side and after that it's go to the right hand side that is uh that's why we uh, for the case that uh, some student will not do not check here so then the distance on the left hand side is uh, missing so then that's why the total distance is not correct for uh, many students okay so this is actually for this type of problem is this recommended to to check to check the time to check the distance at any time okay so for this case we uh we can find out the total distance uh travel in 3.5 seconds should be uh composed of the uh, four meter uh second time that is uh it's mean that is starting from this point go to the left of four meter and then go back to the point O again, that is four meter, and then go to the right also to, to the final position with 6.125. So then the total this, this time has become 14.125 meter. Okay. And according to this, we uh when we uh, determine the average velocity we use the displacement but uh, divided by time by time that is uh, for this case is 3.5 second and we get 1.75 uh, meter per sec as the average velocity but for the average speed is defined in terms of distance travel that is st the total distance travel uh, and this is the scalar quantity uh, divided by delta t okay so then it's not the speed of this particle is equal to 4.04 meter per second let's complete this problem
Okay, so 